this is Nick. If you've heard me say that before, you'd be right in assuming that I was going to kick it off to Tom at this point. As you can see, Tom's not here. That doesn't mean that he won't be inclusively. He's still very much part of the creative team and will be guest hosting from time to time. But again, in the vein of the Nothing Files, I'll be bringing in other hosts. Uh, different people with different opinions to bring you the best news we possibly can. If that's the first time you've heard me say this, then welcome to an exceptionally different uh, style of news reporting. Here at The Nothing Files, what we try and do is focus on horror, science fiction, comic book movies, uh, as well as comic books themselves, a bit of music, and uh, video game culture. I mean, really pretty much all the things that used to be considered nerdy and now, evidently, all the attractive people you know are into. So uh, that's what we do here. And it's a fantastic time for me to bring the Nothing Files back. The podcast hasn't done, well, we haven't done it in the last few years. Uh, again, we kind of drift apart. But now under this new YouTube vehicle with uh, Switchblade Television uh, above us, it seemed like a great time to bring it back. I mean, not only do we have in January of 2016 uh, the X-Files returning, uh, Mulder and Scully are coming back to prove the truth is still out there, and in 2016 David Lynch is bringing us back the uh, Twin Peaks. I just said the Twin Peaks like I'm your granddad, but you know, whatever. You know I'm into it. Um, Laura Palmer told us 25 years later she'd see us again, and 25 years later here we are. I can't tell you how excited I am about that. But one of the biggest reveals that I'm excited about now, and it's not Jared Leto's weird looking Joker. I mean, Suicide Squad looks great, but come on. I love the tattoos, but uh, damaged, I, the, the whole thing, a little beyond me. Um, and it's not Batman v Superman, it's not the new Avengers movie. Though we will focus on all those things, it's something that I can't wait to be excited about with you. It's Fallout 4. How good does this look? And you know, people complain, oh, Bethesda, Fallout 4, Next Generation, you know, the graphics could look better. Those games never look fantastic, but the open world experience, that uh, morality-based system where you're trudging through the wastes just on your own and creating what it is that you're creating, uh, your own narrative, it's brilliant. And I love in this trailer how we're seeing, for the first time, the transition between pre-war and post-war. It's a really, really neat dynamic. And, you know, I've seen a lot of people online. I realize I'm kind of behind on this. It dropped a few days ago, and obviously this is the first episode. I haven't gotten on that yet. Um, oh, well, are you? is there going to be gameplay in the pre-war versus post-war? I really kind of hope there isn't. Part of the beauty of Fallout is the desolation of it. This sort of idyllic, destroyed thing. All these people trying to maintain their lives um, after great catechism. And to me, that's fascinating. Uh, I, I don't really want to go through and, oh, yeah, wife's baking a cake and little Billy's out in the yard because the bombs haven't dropped yet. I don't need that backstory. I just want to walk out of the vault and have all that open world. Do I kill this guy? Do I save this guy? What kind of weapons am I going to use? What sort of wasteland wanderer am I? And so I'm really hoping, as I understand, Guillermo del Toro uh, directed this trailer. And it is a really, really beautiful pre-game trailer. And I do like that you're showing us those images of pre- and post-war, the uh, idyllic and the destruction. But I don't really need to live in that pre-war environment. Again, I don't want to be walking around going to a job. Fallout's already given us a bit of throwbacks, you know, um, to what pre-war life was like. And that, to me, isn't as appealing. What I want to be doing is walking around, dealing with raiders, dealing with the different factions, aligning myself as I see fit with both my Paragon and Rogue characters. Because believe you me, I'm going to play that game through multiple times. And I'm so ecstatic as we come this much closer to E3 to get more and more news about what Bethesda is doing with this uh, new property. Because again, war. War never changes. And I want to keep this short, this early nothing files. Don't worry, some of these will run a bit on. But this is sort of my, you're getting to know what I do. And I'd love to hear what you want me to do. 
YouTube's a fantastic avenue for this because I'm going to be putting up these videos and you have your entire comment section to say, well, I like this, I didn't like that. And trust me, I understand YouTube. You'll be more than telling me what you didn't like. But there are a lot of different topics that the Nothing Files are going to hit. I mean, from movie reviews to, uh, I mean, really the, the full expanse of what you should be checking out in pop culture. Well, alternative pop culture. That's what we do here. So I want to thank everyone for tuning into this inaugural episode. I want to thank everyone who's just as excited as I am about Fallout 4. And uh, stay tuned to what we're doing because it's going to be really fascinating. Eventually I will um, get a dedicated uh, email for this. So if you don't want to comment, you can contact us directly. And I'll create a subreddit. But that's a little bit down the road. These are our kind of, hello, welcome to Switchblade Television. These are the things we're doing. And uh, for all of you true believers who have been with us for a while, thank you for helping us bring the Nothing Files back. And we look forward to giving you the same quality of content that we have over the years. Uh, seriously, from the bottom of my heart, it's great to say the words, welcome to the Nothing Files again. And I look forward to all of us sharing this experience of what it will become down the road. So, uh, keep it into what you're into, you know, because it only gets better for you.